studying the book of Joel. If you have your Bible, I want you to open your Bible in the book of Joel chapter 1. Sa dito ang mga nakapag-memorize na ng mga ng scripture, taas ang kawan. Hindi <laughs> na mahirap hanapin ang book of Joel. Amen? Okay, are you there? Where's our projector, Sister, uh, Sister Divine? Joel chapter 1, verses, uh, verse 4. Nandiyan na po ba tayo? Are you there? Okay. Joel chapter 1, verse 4. There's only one verse. It says in NLT version, After the cutting locust finished eating the crops, and the swarming locust took what was left, after them came the hopping locust, and then stripping locust too. May the Lord bless His word. So dito sa, in this scripture, the book of Joel, Prophet Joel is prophesying about the future that will going to happen in the future. And, uh, alam nyo, sino ko dito, how many of you have already seen the locust? Alam nyo ba yung locust? Sister Love, pwede paki ano yung ano yung sabi ng locust, paki flash? Yan ho ang tinatawag na locos. Mare, hindi nyo alam sa English pa kung locos, grasshopper pala yun. Grasshopper. So you know, in my, but there are several species of locos. Ito ho yung pinapangit. This is the one that the, the prophet Joel is referring to the different types of locos. Ito ho ay mga matandang Locos na, mga matatandang grasshopper. But, to take note, ang insekto ito, this insect, is not unclean. It is clean insect. In fact, in the book of Leviticus, if you can turn with me, I'm giving you a uh, foundational scripture in this uh, uh, study this afternoon. And Leviticus chapter 11, verse 22. If you are there, you can read it by yourself. It says, The insects you are permitted to eat include all kinds of locusts, bald locusts, crickets, grasshoppers. Brother Orwell, Pinahintulot, God, allow, uh, God allows the people of Israelites, according to Moses, uh, God spoke to Moses and said, the only one of the cleanest insects that you are allowed to eat are this. Yes. You can read it by yourself. Na, sabi ng Lord, pwede mo kain, you cannot eat some other insects, but one of the insects that you can eat is this one. Sino na nakakain na tipaklong? Ano nyo ha? Sinasanglag yan sa ibang lugar, sister. Masarap daw yan. Titingnan nun natin ng biblical scripture, kung talagang kinakain nga ba nila yung locos, baka kain kayo ng kain, hindi pa naman pinapakain sa inyo yun. In the book of uh, Matthew chapter 3, sabihin nung iba, taghirap na talaga kumakain kayo ng locos. Matthew chapter 3 verse 4 Sino ang kumain ng locos? Sabi niya rito John's clothes were woven from coarse camel hair and he wore a leather belt around his waist for food he ate locust and wild honey mm. 
Si John D. Baptist, Sister Vilma, kumakain ng tipaglong. You know, when, we all, when I was studying, Sister Marion, I said, John D. Baptist was eating this kind of insect. I was reading the scripture several times. It could be a uh, hundred times I've been reading this uh, book of John. And I did not realize when I studied the book of Joel that this is the one that, that uh, John the Baptist is eating while he was still in, uh, ministering in, during his time. And uh, the Lord said it is clean insect. But because of this insect also, God used this uh, insect, insect, insecto to become uh, a symbol of God's wrath. You know? So it is also possible that what you are experiencing right now, what you are uh, eating right now will become a poison to you. It become a symbol of God's wrath. As, as I have a, a research in some of the scripture, you can see it in, uh, for example, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 38. Could you kindly uh, turn the Bible to Deuteronomy 38, 28? Start up, please. Deuteronomy 28, 38. Binibigyan ko lang ho kayo ng foundational scripture. 28, 38. You will plant much, but harvest little, for locust will eat your crops. Sabi ng Panginoon, nagtatanim ka ng marami, Sister Milen. You are planting plenty of crops, but you are just harvesting a little because there are locusts that is devouring your plants right now. You can also read it in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 37. In 2 Chronicles 6.28, in the book of Psalms, in the book of Amos, several scripture that says, Locust is a devourer to your vineyard or to your plants. At uh, I was studying this the whole week, itong uh, locust na ito. Alam nyo yung locust, yung tipaklong sister ano, sister Virgie. Hindi yan, when you see as a locust, never I have seen, I have not seen a locust that is jumping backward. Sino nakakita ng tipaklong na tumalun patalikod? Paurong. Never, there is no grasshopper or locust that jumps sideways. Wala, di ba? The grasshopper always jump forward. So when God shows you this, this picture, this uh, grasshopper or locust, he is trying to, to give you an insight, a warning, a vision that it's time for you to jump forward. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Walang nakakalinig doon. When God is giving you, it is not just about the symbol of, of being a, a devourer, but it is also a symbol that when he jumps, it, oh, he always jumps forward. Hindi pa urong. Hindi pa tagilig kung tumalun. He is always jumping forward to reach his destination. So that's what God wants from you to jump forward. Don't let just, uh, don't just stay in the place where you are right now. So do me. Jump and jump and jump. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So kailangan ho natin uh, tumalun. So, maring some of you are dreaming na nagpinakita ka kayo ng grasshopper. Sabi ng Lord, tumalun ka na nung tumalun. But when there are times that you have seen in a vision that are several grasshopper uh, uh, devouring your green plants, your vineyards, it's time, to be, it's time for you to be aware of that there are, because there are devourers inside your crops right now. So two types of of uh, um, functions o kanyang capability ng uh, isang locust or grasshopper, he can be your devourer, he can also be uh, a pa, an encouragement to you that you need to jump forward, not going backward. Amen, Amen. po ba doon? Amen. Sabihin mo nga sa tabi, mula ngayon, mula ngayon. kung tumalun ka, tumalun ka. Pa, 